Hey guys, it's Tarkin coming at you again with another game of Hardcore Minecraft. And we are jumping into things. Pets are happy here at home. Sit down, have a nice raw salmon. And of course, can't forget our morning ritual seeds for Garuda. Uh, so, we're just going to go and plant. We're going to plant an absolute ton of melons, just like so many. And then I'm going to go find some pumpkins somewhere and plant a bunch of them as well. And then once we get our first crops in the ground, then we'll worry about the next step. But there's two potatoes. I've got to have more. At least I thought I had to have more. That's right, I've planted some down by the waterfront, so we'll be able to uh, to get them. So we'll uh, we'll roll around to the other side there, and uh, and plant the first part of our farm. Oh, look, a wolf. You know, we should get a wolf as well to be our friend. Perhaps crops in here? No. There's nothing here but worthless stuff. Of course, I've got just, like, junk everywhere. But we're just going to grab some food from the auto smelter and put some more into the top. It feels really nice to have an auto smelter because it is a, a huge headache just dealing with not having it. But now we're going to make all of the melons into melon seeds because I've got pork chops that I didn't bring with me that I didn't bring with me. All right. Um, that's not great. But we will be able to grab... Uh, some steaks here, and that'll be just fine. And now to business. I say, while well, doing a bunch of stuff that's not leading us to business. So, first things first. Um, we'll just make our preliminary area right here. There's no reason to be too fancy about it. So, we will uh, we'll make a trench up for water and I think we don't need the water to be totally still here so uh, for, for irrigation but yeah and here there will be like two collection points basically where the, the water would put junk there or there if it fell into it and, uh, and that'll be good enough for right there. And then we'll just do a couple of bands of, uh, of crops here. So a nice peaceful time. And of course, there's, there's no more familiar feeling to me than this move right here of uh, making a lot of wheat. But... Instead of doing uh, just the two line things, we're just going to do a single space and then stuff in between it because I have so much more wheat to plant. And then we'll really we'll reevaluate in the the longer term if that ends up being a problem. But I'm trying to think of what I should do in the the broad long term about my fields like uh where what do i do with torches did i just drop all of my torches where even are they ah here they are so do we all right so this is probably not the best way but maybe it is so if we we go like so and then we, we can always drop in in order to grab the stuff from the inside of the uh, the irrigation thing. And this way, yeah, so. 
All right. Well, making the extra one there doesn't seem to be that practical, but I think that'll be good. And this will be like a... Uh... A slightly nicer way to do things and we'll just do another row of wheat here and then we'll drop over to the other side I think do do a nice little row of carrots and yes this is as fun as Minecraft ever is for me making making a straight row and then putting a bunch of stuff into it it's it's really living I'm not joking in the slightest it's as good as the game ever is going to be. But I think they go for four in a direction the irrigation does. So this will be four and then one, two, three, four. And then this line will be the one we want to go on. And bam, this is a, a more efficient one than this one here, but it's a little shorter. More efficient in terms of the water because it's leading to one single place. And we're about to break this tool. You get a few hundred uh, plants out of it. And with the stone hoe, it's really just about whether or not it's annoying for you to make a bunch of tools for it. Because uh, while the speed matters sometimes, it's not that often that it will matter. But right now, I don't have any stone on me. And uh, I'm actually unwilling to use my iron for it, though. So we're just going to have to go and and find a source of stone sticking out of a wall, which we'll find right over here. Excellent. I need to get a bone uh, to get a dog uh, companion as well. And that can round out my set of pets. Be very nice. But we're just going to run right here. And grab a, a couple handfuls of stone. We're not going to need tons of it, but we will need enough for for a few. It's going to say, where's my food? But I don't think I brought any of it along. I think I accidentally ate it again, which... No... <laughs> No love more pure than the love of me for leaving my essential Minecraft materials around somewhere. Oh, the steaks, that's right. They were colored brownish, and I didn't realize they were what I was looking for. So, plenty of sticks, a bit of cobblestone, and we're just going to... Uh... Ah, yes, the copper cook the copper and we're going to go ahead and get all these potatoes yep they're all ready or rather all of the tall ones here are so they are mostly ready and that'll be another nice little thing to be able to plant a lead right there very curious uh but you know nice to get all the same Putting the shield in the offhand, very important as night falls to put the shield into the offhand. And just getting a little bit more uh, torch coverage here. And tomorrow we will grab a bone and run out and try to make friends with one of the, uh, the neighborhood wolves. Try to get our pet collection rounded out a little bit hey guys I'm home a little bit of wheat seeds for Garuda a little bit of delicious salmon for Belladonna and now we can all hang out again and we'll uh, on the next day go and plant our potatoes and do a line of melons and pumpkins. Get some stuff done. Can I make more golden apples? Oh. <laughs> the cat was sitting down on top of my uh, 
the box there. That's funny. I can make more golden apples, so. We're going to make a bunch of golden apples there. Uh, and now we'll have six of them in case we have to... Um, to protect ourselves or our interests, we'll be a lot better able to do that. It's going to be enough for one more bar, which is good because that is going to be enough for another iron axe, which we're about to be needing. And then I guess we'll just use that one till it breaks. Although we could extract a little bit of value out of it. Now we'll just go ahead and lay down here. What a lovely night. We should leave some of this stuff here. There's no real call to be taking it along. We'll be able to make a bunch of arrows here. Yes. Now we have 39 arrows, so it's time to, uh, to put the bow onto the hot bar. We might actually be using it for some stuff soon. And we're going to make four stone hose because we are likely to need a lot of them for what we're going to do here for the next project. <laughs> Karuda, what are you doing down there, silly old boy? But we're just going to go ahead and leave the house for the night. Principally to uh, secure some more salmon. Because really, it is such bad form. To not have a nice morning meal for a cat. I don't know if you've ever met cats, but that is exactly the kind of thing that they would remember for longer than you would want. And when you're relying on them to, to keep your home safe, am I not picking up any of these? I'm not picking up any of them because, obviously, because I don't have any inventory space. Fantastic. Brilliant. Oh, the egg. Well, why don't we just toss that into the water and now try to go and pick up some of this salmon. That's so annoying. I, you know, I was thinking I was going to immediately go down and start planting things, so it wouldn't matter that I was full up, but then I forgot that I cannot be trusted to ever accomplish a task. Oh, my graphics. There we go. I, uh, I sometimes play on my survival world, and I just want to let, like, sugar cane grow or whatever, so I'm AFK and I turn them down, and then I forget until I realize that the, uh, the trees are blocking all of the light. And I don't have my, my translucence. But I don't think, you know, obviously in a game like Minecraft, having your graphics down isn't too noticeable. Or rather, hopefully is not terribly noticeable. All right, so. It is time to keep on growing things. We're going to get some more crops in the ground, principally the potatoes. We're going to remember that we are not in combat mode. The shield is not in the offhand. And they are replanting all the random garbage that, uh, you know, doesn't really work that well. That's okay. So what we're going to want to do here is plant taters. And we can do that just in this line here where the carrots are because, well, we don't have any more carrots to plant there yet. And we can fix that at a later date. And as the sun falls, we're just going to take a quick look at the clouds. Uh, the clouds are uh, nice and pearly, so we're not going to worry about it. Uh, you do want to worry about clouds if they get dark, that's a thunderstorm, and then of course uh, mobs will spawn as if it is uh, nighttime. 
So it's like if you if you have all of your uh, light coverage really well done, then you might be okay. Right, so that's four, and then we'd want another trench right here. Yes. All right, good deal. And then we'll uh, just do one in the middle here and that'll be like sort of the other side there. It'll connect the two areas and be very efficient. I kind of hate the asymmetry here though. So we're going to get rid of all this sand and replace it with dirt, you know, for the, for the beauty of it all. And this is also gonna give us a little bit of a supply of sand, which we've been needing just for a bit for uh, for glass for for windows and such so that's going to be good all right jolly good so just a little bit more uh wheat planting here and then skip a row. And of course, this is the irrigated farmland. And then we'll go off uh, to a side where, oh, nope, not there. We'll go off to the side where there's not irrigation for, uh, for melons and pumpkins, for they abhor a watery surface. Did I bring the torches along? I better have. All right, there we go. Nope, that won't do. Because I need to just go ahead. No, this is actually too much water, isn't it? Yeah, because I would need... Yeah, like here, with all that space in between. But... This will be a quick fix. Not a big deal, just a embarrassing one. Yeah, and then we'll fill that one in and then this will be another four. I was thinking that that was too much irrigation and I was quite, quite right it was. That does mean that we're going to want to get rid of this one. And this is just gonna be to protect us as we go through the crops and also to uh, give a little bit of light while the sun is down. Whoopsie, not like that. Ow. All right, so apparently you can't place it on top sometimes, and you can others. And it is for me to try to figure that out. This is the most thought-out farm I've ever done. I normally just like act like an idiot, but not like this is impressing anyone, but you, you have to understand by my standards, this is like um, a, a thoughtful, <laughs> a thoughtful endeavor, frightening as that must sound. And there we go. Feels good. We're just gonna run over into this side here, or do I do I keep on doing these? Yeah, I mean, I might as well. Might as well just keep on. So 
because when you have like an actual proper setup for a farm with the rows predetermined and uh, your irrigation there, you know, it's it's quick to make anything. And I want him to move, but I don't want to accidentally hit him. There we go. It's like, if I just get to the side, I can carefully farm right under his feet. And he'll never know how much he is annoying me. No, he'll never know. Alright, this is sort of like a success. In any case, it's sort of like a farm. That's what we're going to go with. That's uh, that's the, the way that the farm is going to be for right now. Lose another stone hoe, that's alright. You know, they're not... They're not good for too much anyway, but it looks like we are coming on nightfall, so it's going to be time to to run on home. A wonderful, successful day of farming. Did we fight any enemies at all? I don't remember. I don't think so. The ideal day in hardcore is jamming out to a little bit of music. Realizing that Garuda is stuck and freeing him from the little corner. Get out of there, buddy, you silly old thing. He got stuck in the slabs. We're gonna we're gonna solve that right now. Poor Garuda, stuck in the corner. He could have flopped right out if he had wanted. Alright, you know that's not a great solution, but it's a solution. And another wonderful, successful day in the book. We've got a lead, which is nice. We'll be able to uh, more easily move an animal around if it's being a little tricky. Or, you know, a, a boat with villagers in it. Anything that we need to do is now going to be a lot simpler. But I think... Yeah, this is a good time to end this video. And... Uh, with the fish in one hand and seeds in the other, both of my pets are just very happy to have me around. But I think that'll do it uh, for this episode. And when we return, uh, more of the same. We're gonna go down, we're gonna farm some uh, some melons, maybe in this middle area here. Maybe we'll cut down some trees. I don't know. I don't know if we'll have enough time. Got a got a nice little day planned out, but I I plan on it being a nice boring time here in this uh, beautiful hardcore world where we are likely to uh, live forever. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope you've all enjoyed, and uh, that you'll uh, come and see me in the next video uh, where we have our adventures in uh, hardcore Minecraft. So.